Hey guys, Raj Sanger of Cardi Security. Welcome back to the channel and another episode of Raji's Garage. I am here at Deutsche Tech to pick up my E30 M3 convertible. It's been here for a few months, loads of running issues, just was not running right. And these guys here, more so Ben said, you know what, drop the car off and I'll sort it out for you. And he has done so, but there's a few problems and a few niggles that I've still got to try and resolve myself. So let's get inside, let's have a look at the car, let's have a chat with Lee and Ben if he's here, go through all the works that they've done to the car and then discuss what I've got to do with the car. Let's go for it. actually missed this car it's been here for a few months forgot what it looked like right where's lee lee how we doing all right how Raj. we doing you good yeah good to see it again are you i am actually i've been uh, looking forward to this day um I was hoping the sun was out today, so at least when I pick it up, I can put the hood down. Put the hood down, yeah. But it's been raining on the way up, so I don't think that's going to happen. Now, he doesn't understand. <laughs> <laughs> now I know the car's been here for a few months. It's there's been, been a while. Issue, yeah, there's been issues with parts, getting hold of parts. As stuff, you can imagine, on old yeah, cars like this. Yeah, stuff that's out of our control. Yeah. A lot of parts are discontinued. Yeah. But you've managed to work your magic and get it pieced together. Yeah. So shall we go through it? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, let's, let's get the bonnet open and then you can explain to the audience and to me what we've done. What we've done. Yeah. Right, guys, before we get into it, yes, this is an original E30 M3 convertible, one of 786 made for the European market. So this is not an E30 325i with a S14 lump in there and a body kit, this is an original. So, and I know when I dropped this car off to Lee and Ben, they're like, oh my God, we haven't seen these one of these for years. So I'm, I'm assuming you loved working on the car. On the back of that, I love working on it, yeah. It was um, something that we're not gonna come across anytime soon again. Yeah. So it was, it was nice to work on it. Um, Engine bay, looks, engine bay looks clean. Have you given it a little wipe down? We'll give it a little wipe down, yeah. Very We're not nice detailers here, but we'll give it a little wipe down. <laughs> it, um, looks actually, it looks cleaner than my E30 M3 Coupe, act, act, yeah. actually. I'm sure when you finish with it, it'll be a touch cleaner. Yeah. So uh, let's go through it. So I remember when I dropped it off, it was lumpy. Running rough, yeah. Idling was just not right. There was noises coming from the back, uh, even from the front, from the wheels. Yeah. So, First off, it hadn't had the service for a long time. So we changed the fuel filter, give it a major service, including the spark plugs. It was all right, better, but not perfect. So in the end, I ended up changing the whole um, lead system. So on here, we've got, obviously the leads that run through this pack. Yep. The main lead, that comes with a new. So this is all new? All new, all that's new. New leads here. King lead that goes to the coil is new. Underneath here, you've got the coil system that runs. Off the back of the cam, we changed the, the cap and the arm, that okay. seems to run a lot better. Um, obviously some fresh fuel in it, it's been here a little while, so we've had to top out the fuel. So the fuel filter, uh, combined with these bits, it started to run a lot better than it was. Um, ben gave it a right drive round, it was good. So yeah, that's, that sort of solved that issue. We changed the air filter as part of the uh, major service as well. Awesome. Just to awesome. make sure that's good, not knowing what's been done before. Yeah. So just the, the basics really, is just to get the car running right, so you could actually get to and from here. Yeah? but it's a lot better than what it was when you dropped it off. Is Ben happy with it? Ben was happy with it. So we let Ben do the QC. It's a good shout, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Ben could do the QC, he can drive it, he can tell us whether we've done a good job or not. Well, you took it for MOT, so I'm assuming Ben took it for an MOT. Ben, yeah, he took it for an MOT. Um, and I, I know there are a couple of issues initially with the MOT, but you yeah. sorted all those out. So it's yeah. got a fresh, fresh MOT. In the car, fresh MOT. Yeah, so that's good to go now. Yeah. So you can put her about in it. I know that you're going to get other bits done, like the roof and stuff like that re-canvas and stuff like that. You yeah, get a bit so of interior work as well, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, the interior, 
I'll let you know about the interior in a few minutes. The yeah. roof obviously needs it. Yeah. The roof motor will go into that shortly. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm so glad it's now running right. Should we, should we give it a start? Yeah, why not? Why not? You got the keys? Oh, we've got them. Oh, wow. So it runs now. That is like night and day. It's idling yeah. so sweet. It's Obviously, so these cars need to get up to temperature for them yeah. to be Yeah, but even right. then, that, you know, that's more or less a cold start because I know it's outside yeah. when you pulled it in. Yeah. But that's running so smooth. It's a lot better. Oh, compared to... Before, it was a bit chuggy. Even getting inside it was sweet, but now it seems to run a lot better. Before, it was a bit jerky. So I'm looking forward to that yeah, drive back actually. Be, say. Then Ben took it down the A5 as well to make yeah. sure that it runs smooth. And yeah, it's a lot better than it was. Suspension so, yeah. wise and so on, exhaust, all of that was clear. There was a couple of issues, I think. A couple of issues with the suspension. I'm mostly so Paris parts. Turn, turn this off. Yeah, so can, might be so a bit too hear. loud. So suspension wise, what were the issues with the suspension? Mostly just perishing of rubbers and stuff like that, okay. just because of the age of the car. Um, there was a track rod ends that were really worn. They were quite loose, so we had to replace them before the MOT because we didn't want it failing on the MOT. Mm -hmm. The other bits on the suspension work, like I say, were just perished. So we can get it through the MOT with a bit of perishing and not a lot of play. But if you've got a play, we'd have to replace them. So yeah, there's um, things like the springs and stuff like that are very corroded due to the age of the car, but we know what you guys do at Car Audio. Well, yeah, I'm, so, uh, I'm still on the fence. Do I go <laughs> call over or do I go airlift suspension? Or My do we keep it standard? Standard and me don't mix. Uh, my E30 M3 Coupe is on airlift suspension. I've seen you know. it, it's very nice. I am veering more towards the airlift side. You know. I know some good guys that can do the air ride for you if you Do you? Uh, All right, yeah. drop me a DM. I'll drop you a DM. <laughs> um, in fact, what do you guys think? Do yeah. you think I should do core level suspension or should I just, just, just bag the hell out of it like I've done with my Coupe? Just drop we'll it in throw, the comments. Yeah, we'll throw some pictures up. What, what do you think? Um, so, the motor, so if you guys recall, when I dropped the car off, we couldn't get the hood to open, There's, there was an issue with the motor. I actually managed to find a second-hand motor off Libay. You can't buy the motors anymore on, uh, from BMW, the NLA, no longer available. And this motor I found, thought I thought would do the job. Yeah, until we opened the box. This is the original motor. That's it, yeah. And it's broken from there, correct? That's it. So the bracket has a little, broken. a little eyelet on the boat. I'll show you the one that we've got because it has that bit, but it just doesn't have the others. And this is the replacement one that I bought. Yeah, so you can see here. Yeah. That bit should sort of look I'll like that. It's, it's that way around. That's yeah. it. So that bit's missing, which is that. So we bought a new one for, okay, it has the bracket, it has all the fixings. But if you look closely here, yeah, it's completely missing. So. We have to have this piece on this and we have to have that piece on that. So we're still stuck with uh, two motors that don't really work. Guys, if you know anybody <laughs> who's got a motor which has got the bracket in place and has got all the components intact, drop me a DM, uh, give us some details down below. So desperate to get a motor because I can't. The electric mechanism will not, work, will not work, so I'll have to use it manually, which I don't really want to do with this particular car. So if you know anyone, please drop me a DM. Sort of structurally, legally, as in MOT wise, you can drive it along, it'll be good. You'll get to and from without the engine spluttering. You've got a, an, an MOT to be legal on the road, so yes. But to fine tune it how you want it, that will, that will come in time as we know. I'm sure it'll take you a couple of weeks. Yeah, I'm gonna try and get this motor sorted first. Yeah, get that sorted. You could, nothing worse than pulling up and manually dropping it down, is there? No, no, no. <laughs> it just doesn't go with the car, does it? Right, Lee, so, um, I'm gonna love you and leave you. Yeah, that's it, mate. Perfect. Appreciate you doing the work. No problem. Any uh, questions, just drop us a message and we'll um, come back to you. Deutsche Text details are down below. Make sure you give them a follow. Very, very, very good at what they do. So yeah, any questions you have, just drop them a DM. I think it's time I got in the car, get back over to Hayes, and I'll talk to you about some of the other bits that I'm going to do to the car. Right, guys. I am super excited to be back in the E30 M3. As I said earlier, it's been quite a few months uh, since I dropped the car to Deutsche Tech. Now, what's caused the delays? Firstly, getting hold of parts. BMW parts, a lot of them are now discontinued. Trying to get hold of them is very, very difficult. Some of the part numbers have changed. So, what originally was a part number, for uh, example, a HT lead, that part number's changed. 
And uh, if you don't know that, you, you request the original part, BMW come back and say it's discontinued. You request the same part, but with the new part number, and they've got it in stock. So that was a learning curve as well. Um, but yeah, the car's back, driving, beautiful, it's super sweet. The idling is perfect. Uh, it's pulling in each gear now. It's not a super quick car. I mean, these E30 M3s were never ridiculously quick. Um, so it's not something that I'm gonna be doing, you know, drag races with, but it's something that I'd like to use in the summer months and enjoy when it's obviously warm outside and get the hood down. But yeah, it's, I've gotta say, it's running sweet. Gotta say a big shout out to Lee at Deutsche Tech. He's worked on the car and I know he's put a lot of love and care into this car. Um, he's actually sorry to see it go and he's, as we were leaving now, he's outside doing a little video and so on. But yeah, big up Lee, thanks a lot. I know you looked after this car like it was your own. Really appreciate that, mate. But now let's talk about the next steps. In the original video, I went to see Dave the trimmer and we discussed potentially retrimming the whole car. Now, I don't see the point in that because the leather is actually pretty good. It's just age-related wear. And I think we could reconalize the interior and get away with it. And it'll cost a lot less. But that tear in the rear bench at the top, that's something that Dave the trimmer will have to repair for me. So I'm gonna get him to do that. I'll reconalize the interior. The car's running sweet as you can hear, hopefully. And uh, I've also got to sort that hood out. So yes, in the back, uh, where the stitching is, where it holds the sort of perspex screen in place, the stitching's come away, and there's some, there's some small, again, age-related marks in the actual hood itself. So I need to replace the hood. I've been given details of a couple of guys that will are mobile installers and they will replace the hood. Just got to make sure that it's the same material that's on the car now. I don't want to replace it for something cheaper or inferior quality. I need some security on the car. This. M3 still has no alarm. I've not driven it anywhere. It's sat at work and it's sat at Ben's place. A subtle audio upgrade as well at some point. Don't need any, anything crazy in here. And then I've got to look at the suspension. Should I go coilover? Should I go airlift performance? I've obviously got airlift performance on my E30 M3 Coupe. It will be cool to have both cars side by side, both Macau Blue, both E30 M3s, one Coupe, one convertible, both on air probably with different wheels, so I'm probably going to use a set of BBSs on this E30 M3. So yeah, what, what do you think? Um, coilover, airlift, BBSs, rotary forms. Right guys, it's time for me to clock out and cruise back to Hayes. As always, make sure you uh, like this video, just hit the like button now. Any questions or any comments you have, drop them down below and we'll do our best to answer them. Again, Deutsche Tech's details are also down below. Make sure you give them a follow. Any inquiries you have about BMs, Porsche, Mercedes, Mini, just DM them direct. Great guys to deal with, very competitively priced. Um, share and subscribe to the channel and I'll be back uh, in another episode very soon.